Hello my doves, welcome back to Apodati by Olympia. It is your girl Olympia and I've got a video for you guys today. I'm going to be reviewing the infamous Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. So yes, there is some controversy surrounding this palette. Is it good? Is it bad? Do we know? Do we want to know? I'm a bit high, let me just... Now you can see my hair. As I was saying, so what is the tea on this palette? I wanted to try it for myself. I did see some you know, tutorials online, uh, but I wanted to try it for myself just to see whether I could make it work. I will say when you guys, when I flip you over to the clip of me applying it, so you can see it, you know, firsthand while I apply it, uh, it's it's interesting. I think this is a, you know, well, you'll find out what I think later on in this video. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome, a warm welcome. I am so happy to have you here. Come on, click that subscribe button, click that bell right next to it so you're notified when I upload. I have been a bit slack lately, I know, my bad. I have been filming, I just haven't been happy with the quality of content that I'm putting up, you know, all the information that I'm giving. Half the time in my videos, like there's bits missing and it doesn't feel as comprehensive, so I'm trying to be a lot better at that. But I think I've also uh, been a bit hard on myself and I should just, you know, relax a little bit, like it's okay, not that deep. Um, and just, you know, just get back into really not being so critical about the work that I do. I would like to say that if you have any suggestions about anything you want to see, please put them down in the comments down below. Anyway, I am getting, you know, off topic here. Let's sit down. I'll flick you over to the clip of me applying this uh, palette and then you'll come back to me and I will give you my final thoughts. So yes, thanks guys. I will see you soon. So here we have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Remastered. I'm gonna test this out for y'all and see how I like it and how it works with my darker complexion. These are the colors here. Really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go and start with a transition shade. I like to use oranges um, in my transition. I've just got this, it's my Ray Ray number six blending brush and I'm going to take the color Henna. So right here. So first off the bat, it's quite powdery. Like, I mean, I don't mind too much powder because I always do my shadow before I do my foundation. So um, I don't know, it's a little bit more than I kind of expected. So, so just into my transition area. It's blending really well to begin with. Um, I just want to the clean Chi Chi, no, this is a Napoleon set. I'm just going to smooth out the edge a little bit there. I want the transition to be quite subtle. Okay, right, that's the first color that I'm laying down. Now I'm going with my Marc Jacobs a crease brush. I'm going to take the color Man Eater and I'm going to work that into my crease just to give it a little bit more dimension. I may just um, deepen that outer corner a little bit more. Now this brush is just off Amazon. Um, it's just a angled blender brush. I don't know if you can see that. Focus. I just want to focus. 
that's fine. I'm going to deepen that outer corner and I'm going to use the color Coco. Just there. Oh, it's really quite powdery. I'm getting a phone call. So this is recording right now. <laughs> Just so you know. I will, I'll call you after I'm done. Deal. Okay. Love, right, you. love you. Love you too. Bye. 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 Oh, go best friend. That's my best friend. That's my best friend. Yes. You better. So, that's it there. I just want to, oh, can you see the shadow just flying off this? Wow. It's a bit powdery. Dark as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it would be darker, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so this next trick, brush I should say, is actually a sponge applicator eyeshadow brush. Now, usually you get these in those, you know, cheap little, um, you know, makeup quads and things from the drugstore. I have one by Napoleon. It's a sponge eyeshadow brush. And shout out to Beauty News. Thanks for making me your VIP of one of your episodes. I was truly honored and so chuffed. It literally made my life. On a side note, they suggested when they did a makeup breakup on this palette to use one of these to actually apply the um, sh the shimmer shades to the lid. They found that using this is kind of it kind of mimics using your fingers. So I'm going to actually try and use one of these to apply one of these shimmer shades, and I'm going to do uh, probably a gold on the inner corner, and then I'm going to move on to like a rosy pink. So taking the color Trust Fund is here on this applicator I have not wet it picks it up really quite well actually hmm. that's not bad actually I'm actually really impressed I think they are onto something with this now I'm going into the colour Rose Gold. Uh, rose Gold right next to Trust Fund. It's a pink with a gold shift. I am taking it on here. It's not picking it up as well. I think that works really, really well, to be honest. I think that works very well. Now, because it's not wet, it's not foiled. So I'm actually going to spray a little bit of Fix Plus. Okay, I'll pick some up first. And I'm going to spray the Fix Plus. And then put it down. There we go. Now it actually looks foiled. Let's do the same with Trust Fund on the inner corner. I've picked some up. Now I'm going to spray. Now I've just turned it to the other side so I can use two colours. Let me just blend Coco into the outer corner there. There we go, nice and blended. 
I'm gonna go back in with henna with the It's My Red Red blending brush and just to soften my transition again. It got lost a little bit there. I'm just gonna bring it back. If you want to use this palette without having to use your fingers at all, you need one of these. Like, it will save you so much heartache. Like, beauty news. You guys are onto something here, and I've tested it, and it works. So, yeah. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna do this side, um, a wing, put some lashes on, do my base, and I will be back for my final thoughts on the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette Free Mastered. See you later. Okay, guys, so. This is the final look with the using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Palette. Here it is. I like it. I like the look that I came up with. Um, I, it's not revolutionary. It's not anything new. But I like the I like the effect that I was able to get with this palette. So I used henna. Man Eater, Coco, Trust Fund, and Rose Gold to come up with this look. Now, I will say that I found that the matte shades were absolutely a dream to blend. I didn't have not, I did not have any issues blending any of the matte shades whatsoever. In fact, I find I found that the matte shades were um, you know easy they were easy to drag along the crease it was easy for it to concentrate on in one area I was able to build the colors up together the colors the matte shades they worked really well with each other they didn't go muddy you could see um, each individual color as you were blending them blending them and they would create other colors but they would never ever become muddy which is you know what you want in a shadow I will say that I wasn't really that impressed with the uh, shimmer shades. Um, I didn't try using my fingers, I didn't try using a brush. I went with a sponge applicator eyeshadow brush. Now this was suggested, and I probably would have seen it in the clip earlier, but this was suggested to me by Beauty News when they did a makeup breakup on this palette. Um, I'm not sure which which one. I can't remember who was actually doing the swatches. Um, but one of them did the swatches and they swatched with this. It was picking up the product so much better using this. I think it mimics your fingers. Uh, but as soon as I put it on dry, it looked very luck luster I couldn't it didn't look you know uh, Huda Beauty quality like I have basically every single Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette a bar the original um, rose gold I was unable to get it before it sold out which I'm kind of glad I didn't in the end but once I wet this and put it on wet I got an amazing forward effect you what guys would have seen it it looked so good I cannot wait to do more looks with this with this palette. I'm actually kind of impressed. Um, so I feel that if you really want to get the most out of this product, go get yourself a brush like this, or in one of your um, you know drugstore or chemist you know type quad palettes that come with the applicator in them. Keep them for this palette because it actually does work. Like it it worked so freaking well. I was so impressed. Um, the only, that's probably the only real negative I found was that it was a bit lackluster without wetting your brush first. Why the f*** you lying? Why you always lying? Um, other than that though, I really like the look that I came up with and I think, you know, if you're a fan of Huda Beauty, even though, you know, what she did was a bit... Even though what she did was a bit dodgy, like, I'm not gonna lie, it was quite dodgy what she did. She, you know, told everybody that, you know, the, the rose gold palette, they're no longer selling it anymore, it's gonna be discontinued, and what did everybody do? Everybody went out and bought it. 
And then to release this straight, you know, what, six months later after saying it's discontinued, is a li it's, 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 it's shitty in my opinion. I don't think it's fair. Um, luckily, I wasn't one of those people who went and bought it, but, you know, there was a lot of people who did buy it, and then this came out, and it's like, well, thanks. Thanks a lot, Huda. Thanks for that. Thanks, thanks. Thank you. Anyway, so um, that's my review, guys. I really do like this palette. I hope you like this look. Um, it's really easy to do. It's not hard at all. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think of this palette. I would really, really like to know. And, yeah. So, thanks for watching. I will see you all on the next video. Take care.